way out on top to Malaco. Langmore, drive inside, is good. Connor in low, back outside, Noah Carter for three, got it. Under 10 to shoot. Langborg's gonna go straight up with it, got it! Ryan Langborg. I just didn't get good looks, just haven't been able to knock him in. That was one of the surprising things about the upset they had over Arizona as we see the, as we see Carter trying to go to work inside. Normally when you see a team, they haven't played their best basketball yet in this tournament. They just kept hanging around and hanging around until they pulled off the upset the other day. In the paint, midway jumper for Alaco. At 70 plus this year. Nice ball movement again. Langborg, same spot, same result. Didn't even move the neck. Carter trying to split a double team, and the hook shot is good. Boy, North Carter off to a fast start. Same story against Utah State the other day. It's going to be a battle of Princeton execution versus Missouri's pressure defense. Langborg, oh my goodness. Now right now, Princeton's winning the battle. Langborg only had eight points the other day, and he's already got 11. Nate Pierce picked up the foul for Princeton. Golston trying to get it inside, did to Kobe Brown. And Lee brings in a lot of energy off the bench. Gave up a three, kicks it back outside. Alaco weaving through traffic to get that jumper. I'll tell you what. Honor has a look up at the clock. We work under 10 on the shot clock. Hook shot won't go that time for Carter. Langborg on the drive. The scoop. Great look to his teammate, Kelly. You see the drive to the basket. Defense rotates. Make the pass. Kelman's going to get up and throw it down. They panic in the air. And you see him swat down and get aggressive. That's how you would give him away foul. Hey, Walma, his pass. The same guy. Same result. Princeton is cutting this Missouri Tigers defense up. Nick Otter backpedals and takes a three, and he got it. Boy, they need that one. They're doing this without their leading scorer in the scorebook yet. He might be after that drive. He is. Tosan Iwoma. Iwoma's going to have 20 rebounds if he keeps this pace up. Another three goes. This one, it's martini time. Kobe Brown has two points. Hodge has zero. These are your guys, even though Carter looks like the guy tonight. But your best two players got to get going. It can't be two points between them. Langborg, this time he drives and scores. Your Princeton, keep that in the back of your mind. Anytime you get a certain matchup, because Missouri's switching, don't be afraid to clear it out. Carter will try it from the outside and got it. Noah Carter keeping Missouri in this thing. Langborg feeds the post. A warm up. Quick move to the baseline. Score it and one. Foul on Golston. All the defender guarding him slid right to the post. No wasted motion. Got right to the baseline and won. That's two on Golston. And he will be coming out. And now somebody will have to take the shot. Langborg was the hot hand early. He's going to try to drive for it. Scoop shot. Got it. Woo. They won with the drive. Lay in with the left hand. That's a great closeout right there by Carter. The boy Hodge has yet to score. He's trying to get downhill now. And he got there. That's what they needed. <laughs> got to hurry. Honor got it away. Got the three. Big shot by Nick Honor. Five on the shot clock. Gonna have to hurry. East on a runner. Got it. Sean East at the buzzer. Hunter had a couple of big three-pointers in that first half. Here's Kobe Brown. That's what they wanted to do, and they got it to him. And that's an excellent play design by Coach Gates. And listen, I'm a little old school. I'll tell you what, if I'm Missouri, I'd run that play again as soon as we got it. Alaco got the three. 
That's some muscle on muscle with those two guys. And Kelman muscles one in on the other end. Kelman has been hanging around that baseline, just ducking in, ducking out. Alonco all the way in, tucked in by Kelman. Now we need the energy this guy's bringing. Back inside, Brown backing in. Up and blocked again. Hines trying oh, to slam it. He down hard. I think he landed on his face, on the side of his head. Get a good quality shot against his zone. Gabe Pierce, the freshman for Princeton, has 10 rebounds in the game. Oh, rejected by the R again. Peters had some big threes yesterday for Princeton. Uh, Thursday, I should say. Here's Pierce for three. And that's wide open is. DeAndre Goldston, only one field goal for him today so far. Nice bounce pass, Diara, and then East. Looks like a little globe trotter drill right there in the paint. Had to give it up for Goldston on the drive. Score it. That's a good drive right there by Goldston, driving the closeout. Did you kick it out to your teammate and let him make the decision? Curry cuts it to six. Peters for three. Got it. Told you had some big ones the other day. Three of them, in fact. And right now, it's on the shoulders of DeAndre Golston. It would be very disturbing to me if I was a Missouri, Missouri fan. There goes another. There goes another. There goes another. Any shooter will tell you. And so is Brown. Got to right run, gotta, gotta run, gotta run some direct sets for him. Oh, nice oh, hold by Lane. Oh, we. I tell you, man, I can't wait to see Eric Musselman in that Arkansas locker room. You know, he's always good for a highlighter, too. Blake Peters again. Peters good for a highlighter, too, as well. I know my 14 years playing in the league, I didn't foul anybody. Oh, e no. Ever. 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 You didn't even do that at Carolina. Didn't commit one I foul. called enough of your games to know what that is. Hello. Langborn. Langborn. Lead of the day. Another not great shot, but that one will be followed by Noah Carter. That's his first field goal of the second half. Run some clock and get a great shot. Six minutes to play. Peter. Oh, not good. And then he's shaking his head like, hey, man, they're going to get enough to leave me open. Four three-pointers in this half. Brown trying to answer on the other end and does. I thought Pierce was going to let that corner three fly. Now they work it down to five to shoot. The handoff. Oh. To Pierce. That's the perfect possession. From the very beginning of this game, it's been a Princeton type of game, and they haven't backed down at all. Kobe Brown hits a three. Use a few more of those. A lot of people didn't think Princeton would even have a chance against Arizona. A lot of them thought not going to have a chance against Missouri. Blake Peters and company and said, we got a chance to beat anybody if we play like this. It's a straight up, it's a, it's straight up target practice at this point. Brown with another three. A little bit late. Brown getting cooking, but it might be too little too long. It won't on the drive. Off the window. Ooh. Tipped in. Another offensive of rebound. Goldston got it in close. East. Got it to drop. The short amount of time they have. Not a lot of time left. Golston drives in. Score it off the window. Princeton didn't give up all those twos. They didn't, they, right now, they just don't want three. There was never time in this game after the first five minutes where I thought, man, Missouri's really taking control here. Missouri got it down to six a couple of times. And as soon as they did, Princeton had an answer. And now it's just... A matter of 45 seconds ticking off as Golston scores again. Golston on the drive, scored again. He's had a big second half. The Princeton Tigers. It's never been sweeter if you're a Princeton fan than right now.